And when you have a confidence in God, you guys, when you have an uncompromisable confidence in God, you don't have to keep repeating the same things over again because God gives you the wisdom not to. Right, right, man. I'm telling you. Well, let's go to let's go to the scriptures real quick. Let's go to the scripture real quick. Let's go to Psalms chapter number forty, dealing with verse number four. Watch this. You know, I'm dealing with confidence, joy, and peace. But like, but 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 watch this. It says, "Oh, the joys of those who trust in the Lord, who have no confidence in the proud or in those who worship." idols. It says, oh, the joys, oh, the joys of those who trust in who? The Lord. There is a joy in trusting in God. Oh, the joys of those who trust in the Lord. And then it says, who have no confidence in the proud, who have no confidence in the proud. You guys, we have to watch what we have confidence in. Our only confidence should be in God, but we all know that we are a work in progress. And so we have to be transformed in every area of our life so we don't have confidence in cars. We have to be transformed in every area of our life so we don't have, so, uh, so we don't have that confidence in husbands. We have to have that, to- we have to have that transformation in our lives so we don't have that confidence in money. All right, you see, do you see what I'm saying? The scripture says here, all oh, the joys of those who trust in the Lord, not in money, who trust in the Lord, not in the finances, who trust in the Lord, who trust in the Lord, not in people, not in societies, not in TV shows, who trust in the Lord. It's something about trusting in God and not having confidence in anything else.